doing? Jeez. Jeez. Hey guys, I'm starting out with my hair already parted into about 17 sections and I did apply a cream moisturizer and I'm using these small perm rods, the salon care, everything I'm, I'm mentioning in the video is listed down below. I already have the back section done as you can see with the pink and I'm gradually going up from the back to the top of my head with the small to the bigger size rollers as I go up throughout my head and I'm applying my water with this spray bottle which I love. I'm going to use the Camille Rose Curl Maker. I never used this on my hair for a perm rod set and this is actually my first time using these size perm rods all over my head. I do have another perm rod set video where you can find in the i cards up above and listed down below as well. So this is my, like I said, this is my first time using these perm rods and I'm going through with my rack tail comb. Uh, like I said in my last video, my hair is already detangled. I do not recommend combing your hair with a small tooth comb unless it's thoroughly detangled. That's if you have a similar or tighter texture than my hair. So for this section of hair, I did have some shorter pieces. So I placed the perm rod where those short pieces end and I rolled down the rod to make sure the hair is taut onto the rod and I'm winding my hair up into a circular motion. I did forget to mention that this is my first time winding my hair on perm rods. I do also have a video where I'm winding my hair on flexi rods. Check that out as well in the iCards in the description box down below. This method will give me a corkscrew curl versus a spiral curl. And I'm also going to be showing you guys a different way to wind your hair onto a rod. For me, um, this is my first time, and this is just much easier to do in the back sections for me than the other method I, that I will be showing you very soon. And to ensure that the rod does not slip and my roots lay flat, I am closing the rod with the band positioned close to my scalp. Now with this section of hair, I'm going to show you guys how to wind your hair using a different method. I'm going to place the rod close to my scalp and just use my other hand to rotate my hair around the rod. It's that simple. And at the end, I want to make sure my, my ends are as smooth as possible. So I'm going to take my fingers and just smooth out the hair around the rod. And if needed, I will add some product. I'm going to show you guys that one more time after spraying my hair with water. I did apply product to my hair even though I did not show you guys that on camera. I am going to use my comb to comb out my curls because I want my hair to take form of the perm rods and not peek through or break through my style. I already placed the rod close to my scalp and I'm rotating the hair around the rod making sure my ends are smooth and laying down that band closer to my scalp. I planned on using about three rods per section, but I ended up using an average of four rods per section of hair and with a grand total of about 70 rods. This is a great way to ensure that you do not run out of rods when doing your hair and you don't have to run out to Sally's or your local beauty supply store looking a hot mess. I do wanna mention that I did air dry my hair but it did take longer than an eight hour sleep to do so. So I do want to mention that. And this is what my hair is looking like before I separate it. As always, when separating curls or twist out or braid out to reduce frizz, I am going to separate my hair where the hair naturally separates. First, I'm rotating the curl in the opposite direction before separating, and that's it. And here is my hair, side by side comparison, before and after. And one more time, I'm gonna show you guys that once again. And as you can see, I have some product buildup in this section. I did get a little bit heavy handed with the product. I'm not quite sure if I will use the Camille Rose 
curl maker again on my prime rod set I will create another video using a mousse using the same technique and the same rods to compare the results here I'm picking up my hair to give it the shape that I want and to give it a little bit more volume I do have some frizz I'm not quite sure if it's the products that I use or me separating my hair too much but in all I am happy be sure to comment like and subscribe here and check out my other videos to the right of this screen and i'll see you guys on the next one bye